Hello Cancer and welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot my darling. This is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for hitting that like button, for sharing the message with those you love and for subscribing to the channel, for being a part of this family. Much appreciated and I'm really, really grateful. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. These are general messages, all right? So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that apply and the rest, let them fly. All right, so now let us get into this message. As I am seeing it, what? You are looking for some answers in the spiritual field because you feel stuck in the physical like you don't know where to turn right now because you feel like you can't is it trust but you do feel like the external there isn't really anyone to look to for the answers you need and so you're looking here it may come across as you feeling stuck or having nowhere else to go but it is actually a very powerful move that you're making cancer to come into the spiritual to find the answers because guess what? It is within you. All right. So I'm only here to, I don't know, to help you to feel it. So that's why, that's why I always say breathe with me here. Welcome your energy in so you get the most accurate messages that will help you to get the clarity you need. All right. So there's something about your world changing, fortune and blessings, like a complete turn of events, like a lot of things transforming for you, happiness at the same time. It's the energy of just a lot of different things coming in that's making you happy into your world. Oh, there's something with your breasts. I've never felt that before. It's a bit of um, sensitive well feeling with them today. <laughs> but I don't know why they're standing out. Maybe they look more standoutish today. Maybe as you walk, people are noticing this part of your chest or something. Maybe for feminine, that's what it is. Um, yeah, so I feel like your world is changing. Like you feel open, like sun energy, just walking around. And a lot of things just happening for you. It's that energy where Abraham Hicks would say, you know, all the cooperative components are lining up. And you know this, you know that you're the one manifesting it. So you just feel good in the moment every day and things are just lining up for you. You get someone tells you, yes, go ahead in the line in the grocery, um, in the grocery store, the supermarket, or you get the t a taxi early or the highway was free and clear and you get to drive to and from easily without problems. Your favorite song was on, you were, you know, you were in a good mood, you came back home. You know, you came back home at the right time. You started to cook, play some music. You feel good. It's like things are just working out. Just put dinner on and it turned out to be the most delicious food you've cooked in a long time. Things are working out for you in your business, in your family. You just feel successful. That's the energy. I took, a, I took like a whole three minutes to tell you that. But that's okay, right? <clears throat> I do. F I feel like people have been coming to you with for your intelligence, like you feel bright, like you have something to offer, like you're a part of a club. Maybe you're a part of social groups, reading clubs. I don't know, but it, you you feel a part of life. You know, it's beautiful. You don't feel secluded today. I'm saying today again. But there is, there is, you feel connected to, to your roots. It's almost, it's that feeling like things are just working out for you so well. You just feel wholesome. That's what I'm getting with the Wheel of Fortune and the World. It's just a beautiful feeling. I like it. It's like all, everything is working in accordance for you. Hmm. And now let's go over here. All right. I feel like you got money in your pocket, money in the bank. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I feel like your bills are paid. You know, you have food to eat, shelter over your head, family that loves you. It's almost it's like people, you feel attractive. 
you know, people are making you, like you're a part of this world, you feel good, the world, it's like, and the wheel of fortune, it's like a good vibration, I like that, you are having spontaneous conversations and you're not anxious, you just feel good, you know what I mean, I could spend hours telling you, like, right, I could paint you a picture, I could, I could, I could write a movie off of this one female or male, but it's like feminine energy, that just feels good today. That is the energy. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's like you're connected to your divine, your magic, and also grounded. I like it. Mm -hmm. So, you don't feel like you're missing anything. There's something about a library going back to school or just putting yourself back out there, maybe not being afraid of being alone taking a trip to the library to read a book to buy a book something about reading again and sharpening your intellect that's very important maybe you've started to read again and it makes you feel good like you have something to look forward to when you get home you pick up that book and start reading you know you started to soul search or you're just watching a favorite series and you just feel content and peace you're writing you're journaling there's a lot about writing here and it's writing is guiding you perfectly throughout this you're going through a lot it's like you're going through school but it's not it's not like a spiritual school that you're going through maybe you don't even know this is happening on this level cancer okay so your angels are here, your spirits are guides. You are in um, a very divine space right now, my darling. Very beautiful. There's something about the things you speak, the sharpness of your tongue, the directness of your focus, of your mission. You should be like a scholar, one that knows how smart he is and speaks and acts, expresses himself that way. So if just sharpen that, it's good for you to have this, this in, you know, knowledge is power. Intelligence is very powerful. And I feel like you're really just um, powering up yourself now with some words, some new information, even getting some sleep in the dream world, getting information from the dream world, from the Akashic from the divine you're taking some information it's like you're going to school like really but maybe spiritually you know what i mean a lot of studying um you have teachers coming into your experience as well you know so in your experience in life you may have people you feel are betraying you or are disappointing you whatever the situation even if they're close to you or near or far family members or no whatever the situation it's just is just um what did i just call it T teaching lessons along it's all lessons in this world that you're dealing with okay so people that may bite you or situations that may sting you but i feel like you're learning on this journey okay yeah. all right so te teachers i just call them they're masters our enemies, whatever you want to say, your adversaries could also be your teachers, your masters. I feel like you're really connecting, you know, to your your soul and your ancestors. You're listening to your internal guidance. You know, it's like you have that good angel, bad angel sort of thing. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com but you're learning you've now kind of tuned more into the the guidance that you feel is putting you on the right path for you you're listening it's telling you about your habits about work about the divine it's helping you to hold your head high to see things from a higher perspective whatever this divine guidance is is like a compass that is taking you to where you need to be 
The thing is that I feel, Cancer, you have found your north. Your north. That is where the compass points. You found in you where you want to be. And it's nowhere specific, nowhere special, nowhere unique. It's just, it's mainly a feeling in you where you want to be at. M mostly, you know, a feeling of well-being. And so these are things around you that you do. Like reading, writing, taking a break, relaxing. Studying the external, studying the internal, studying the divine, connecting to the divine. Dreaming, wishing, hoping, creating. Your creative master. The world energy is amazing. You have, it's like, we should see the empress within the world because the empress is this, the cell within the cell of the world. The cell that knows itself within the entire world. The empress is the entire water within the ocean. The drop of water within the ocean that knows itself and knows that it is the entire ocean. So I feel like you are the world and you know that the world is you. Like you look to the universe for guidance, but at the same time you know that it is found within you first, you know. Yeah. Divine journey. Ooh, so there's something that you need to. I'm going to leave this message here. And then because there's a whole lot that was to be talked about. But then we'll continue. Because there's something that's coming into you. Like a partnership, a union. There may be feelings of overcoming fury or feeling fury. There may be people, tests coming up, tribulations, people from your past that want to come back around, test you. Justice is not quite pleased with that, you know what I mean? So we're going to see that, I think. Something to do with some project you're working on, a marriage, your home, getting across the finish line. Earth sign, someone that's working on your home. Justice is to be brought into balance, maybe the law will get involved in this situation. Someone is waiting or there's a delay or time is ticking. Someone is refusing an offer. Maybe now they want to come back around and offer something to you after the delay. That's a five of swords. Oh, someone that wants to change their ways. The page of wands. A message. Someone that... Fire sign. Attraction. Emotions. Feelings. You want to come back. 